It's what you've been waiting for. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah Freebus, and this is HQ. If this is your first time playing, you're about to have so much fun. And if you're coming back for more, same. Keep your fingers steady, grab a smart friend, and I'm going to let you in on a little something. Swipe right on that chat to hide it if you find it distracting. What's up, Brandon, Ricky, and Clint in Nashville? Shout out to my fellow hosts. Happy birthday to Bill Colette and your sister, twinsies. The McDonald family who got Emma hooked on the game, hey. Good luck to Kendall Winninger on your nursing finals. Drew Tark, I'm rooting for you. Melissa Sugar from Canada, you so sweet. John Thomas Collins, I know you're at school, but maybe you're sneaking a peek. Hi, study hard. We got a bunch of you here right now. I see the chat is going crazy. I see a lot of people saying it's their birthday. Is that true? I don't know. If so, happy birthday to almost everyone. You're going to have to answer 12 questions in 10 seconds. You answer correctly and you'll win. And today's prize is $5,000. 5,000 buckaroonies. Yeah, in about 15 minutes, it could be yours. It's crazy. As always, we're going to ease you slowly into the quiz. So here we go, Q1. What structure did King Kong famously climb? Mount Everest, Empire State Building, or Hogwarts? I always felt kind of bad for King Kong. He just wanted some alone time with his lady friend, you know? But... He did famously climb the Empire State Building. Yeah, Empire State Building is your answer here at Q1. And how many of you are going to climb to the top today? 640,000 of you. Look at you. You know your movies. But what about TV? Let's find out. What cartoon character repeatedly perishes on South Park only to return every time? Darkwing Duck, Jon Snow, or Kenny? They kept finding very creative ways to do it. He was just a little kid who couldn't talk over his snowsuit. And oh my gosh, they perished Kenny. Kenny is your answer. And 579,000 of you got that. But I get why 21,000 of you picked Jon Snow. We all knew he was coming back. Spoiler alert, let's keep it going. If a British person asks you to use your lorry, what do they want to use? Skateboard, truck, or bathroom? Honestly, if they don't say it in Harry Potter, I don't know it. Expelliarmus! Did I disarm you? Hopefully not. Hopefully you tapped truck. Truck is your answer here at Q3. And 243,000 of you got that, but we actually have a savage question early on in the game here at Q3. 300,000 of you chose bathroom. Ugh, that's the loo, not the lorry. Ugh, but it's okay, stay in. Watch the other people win. Well, I'm a bad driver, so you won't be lending me your lorry anytime soon. So if I ask you, just say no, but let's get to Q4. What animal's kid is literally called a kid? Sheep, kangaroo, or goat? This is an adorable question here. I love and cherish all of them and waste way too much time watching videos of them. But only a goat's kid is called a kid. Goat is your answer. Yes, 182,000 of you got that. A kangaroo baby is a joey, a sheep baby is a lamb, and you're on a roll, so I'm not gonna get in your way. Here's Q5. What is not one of Pittsburgh's three rivers, Ohio, Beaver, or Allegheny? This is a not question. So pay close attention, Ohio, Beaver, or Allegheny. And the correct answer is Beaver. Yes, Beaver here at Q5. It runs just outside Pittsburgh, so it doesn't quite make it as one of the big three. 120,000 of you got that. Oh, and to those of you saying that you like my shirt, well, thanks. I love it, too. Now, you know I had to drop some Pennsylvania knowledge on you today. Go 76ers. Back to the questions. Which of these places is naturally home to penguins? Alaska, South Africa, or Mongolia? The stars of happy feet. Yes, penguins. So fancy, so flightless, and so happy to call... South Africa, their home. South Africa is naturally home to the penguins. 79,000 of you got that. Only the Galapagos penguins appear north of the equator. 
uh, clearly 31,000 people think the penguins live in Alaska, but if you see one, they're, they're very lost. Help them. Q7. A character on Seinfeld once found the discarded set of what TV show host? Merv Griffin, Johnny Carson, or Jerry Springer? Yeah, they were just throwing sets away. We could throw the HQ set away, but then where would Scott sleep? Huh? Correct dancer is Merv Griffin. Yes, good old Merv. And 43,000 of you got that. But, you know, 11,000 of you shouldn't feel bad about choosing Jerry Springer. His set was pretty iconic, too. A lot of fighting, a lot of cheering. And you should be cheering because you're already at Q8. Which of these tech companies does not have the same CEO as the other two? Kickstarter, Square, or Twitter? Once you've watched Shark Tank, you know that everyone in Silicon Valley has invested in pretty much all the same stuff except for Kickstarter. Yes, Kickstarter is your answer here at Q8. And 18,000 of you got that. Jack Dorsey is currently CEO of both Twitter and Square, which is a payment company. So, you know, feel free to at him. Ask him for help with your rent. But you don't need it. You're at Q9. In the film series, which of these boxers officially had a winning record against Rocky Balboa? James Clubber Lang, Apollo Creed, or Mason Dixon? I have to admit, I haven't seen all of these movies. Shame on this, Philly girl! But how many of there are, you know, there's so many anyway, okay? It's just too much fighting. The correct answer is Mason Dixon. Yeah, Mason Dixon. All right, 2,200 of you got that, but we have another savage question here at Q9. We lost 16,000 of you on that. Don't feel bad. That was a hard one. Rocky had a pretty good excuse for Mason Dixon winning, though. He was in his late 50s, plus Mason Dixon was played by real-life boxer Antonio Tarver. So there, Q10. In one of the biggest upsets in Tony history, a show about puppets beat out which of these musical? Wicked, Spring Awakening, or Hello, Dolly? I remember this. It was rough. This year's Tony nominees just got announced. I'm rooting for Mean Girls the Musical. I don't know about you. But this was the year that Avenue Q beat out Wicked. Wicked is your answer here at Q10. 2,438 of you got that. Yeah, the producers were so shocked that the graphic for Wicked appeared after the announcement and had to be quickly turned off. The original Moonlight at the Tonys. Q11. In the history of U.S. presidential elections, what third-party candidate got the most electoral votes? Ralph Nader, Ross Perot, or Theodore Roosevelt? This is the second to last question. This is where it gets really exciting. And you should be really excited if you tapped Theodore Roosevelt because that's the right answer. 931 of you got that, but we have another savage question. Third savage question of the day here at Q11. I get why 1,100 of you thought it was bro. He did run a strong third party campaign, but Teddy got 88 electoral votes. And here we are, cause this is it. The final question. You got through pop culture, penguins, Pennsylvania, all those keys. You've got 931 of you competing for $5,000. Here it is, Q12. What date is inscribed on the granite waterfront monument in Massachusetts Pilgrim Memorial State Park? 1620, 1492, or 1776? A lot of dates, so think carefully. Okay. In 1774, this rock broke in half, but they kept the top part and carved the year the Mayflower ducked into it so that everyone would know when the OG showed up to Plymouth Rock, it's 1620, 1620 is your answer, and we have 743 winners, you did it! <laughs> Yes! 
743 of you. That's actually a special number for me. It was my first address as a kid. So I'm really happy on this Thursday to have 743 of you winning. Congratulations. How does it feel to be on the leaderboard? Or maybe this is the second or third win, in which case you are so smart. How did you know all this trivia? I am honestly so impressed by all of you all of the time. There are not too many ways to study, but you made it. So what are you going to spend your winnings on? How much are your winnings? Because I can't even do the math to figure it out right now. But y'all are going into the weekend feeling pretty high, and that is something to brag about. Whether or not it's your first one, it doesn't matter. Holy guacamole, you got to post these findings to HQ, to our board, to Twitter. I want to see it. $6 to Errol Lynn, D-Dome the Keys, congratulations, just me and I think it's your cat, so congratulations to the kitty. The kitty's eating well tonight, and maybe you are too. Dr. S for something, congratulations. I love Felix the cat as well. Congratulations to all of our winners. This is awesome. Pen Dog 55 I don't know what's on your nose, but... Oh, it's a spoon! I can see it! I used to love that trick, too. We have another game for you tonight. That's 5K just sitting on the table. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? Well, thanks for spending the afternoon with me. You rock. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Woo!